but how do we visualize these variables? So <clears throat> I'm going to show it here for um, for sex, uh, biological sex. It's it's the same way we would look at it as well for say highest degree. Uh, this is called a segmented bar chart or a stacked bar chart. <clears throat> Um, wait a minute, do I have these backwards? Yeah, no, I don't. So this is a segmented or a stacked bar chart, and they're also called stacked. And here the categories are stacked on top of one another. So this category here is going to be the, the number of people that are very happy that are female. This category here is going to be the number of people that are pretty happy that are female. And then this category down here is going to be the number that are not too happy that are female. Same thing here with, um, with the males. The, those categories will represent the same things. The other thing to note is that if you sum all of this up, this, this adds up to the number of females, this adds up to the number of males. And so we are going to use this to kind of try to give us a visual sense of if we'd expect that there is a difference between these two groups. So these segmented bar charts are, are helpful, or stacked bar charts are helpful when you have a few number of categories. When you have many numbers of categories, this becomes a little bit more difficult. But if we wanted to just say, for example, focus on the not too happy, the very bottom, we can see that this category for female is definitely larger than the category for male. And because there's more females than there are uh, males, um, maybe that would be expected. You know, if there's more females, maybe we just expect that there'd be more not too happy people in that category, just because of the fact that there were more of them taking the survey. So whenever we do these sorts of things, we need to calculate differences in proportions, but this can give us a sense of if we might expect to see a difference. Looking at this data right here, I don't know if I would necessarily expect that there's a sex difference in how people are rating their marriage. An alternative to using a segmented or a stacked bar chart is to use a side-by-side -side bar chart. And again, here we see the categories, and, but rather than being sort of on top of one another, they're side-by-side. -side. And so I think that this is a superior way to sort of uh, look at uh, data in a bar chart because here you, you um, here it's easy to compare this category and this category but this one gets a little bit harder the one in the middle I think but here we can easily compare these different categories like this right this one to this one this one to this one and this one to this one it you can really visually this comparison is very easy to facilitate here and we we note that these that these uh, two diff these two different um, categories for the sexes or not different categories but these the categories for the different sexes of happiness they really have the same shape right they they're very similar in shape few people not too happy intermediate with pretty happy and a lot are very happy 